Hey guys, it is Nick from bonbonsite.com and today I'm talking about frequently asked questions when it comes to bonsai or bonsai or bonsai trees. So it's a mini tree. A bonsai is a mini tree that has been stopped from growing, intentionally stopped from growing. This isn't natural. Now the word bonsai comes from Japanese and it means tray planting. One character or kanji is tray, the other kanji is planting. So you kind of get an insight into what bonsai was originally and what it still is about. We might use pots, but you can completely understand where the origin comes from and it's not like, well, what could it possibly mean? So it's a just a form of art, really. Um, so why should you get a bonsai? Well, there's tons of reasons. Uh, you could be homebound, you know, it's something that you can have inside your house. You can take care of it inside your house. You can't go outside. You can, you know, direct its growth, how it looks, what type of plant uh, or pot, planting pot it's in, stuff like that. And uh, you might, you know, maybe you just want something extra. Maybe you like gardening, but you want something more. You don't just want those flowers outside. You want something inside or possibly outside that you get to take care of more intimately that you get to direct its growth everything else so there's tons of reasons why you can get into the art of turns bonsai of creating mini trees and making them look great but let's suppose okay i want to get a bonsai what should you feed it well there's tons of variables that you have to take into account you know what time of year is it what species is it What's its age? Do you want more foliage? Do you want it to grow? Things like that. And I would recommend you to look at Bonsai Empire's great post that goes in detail, great detail, about what you should feed your uh, bonsai. Now, you can use regular fertilizer, and but there is specialty bonsai fertilizers. The main thing is just getting the right you know, nitrogen, stuff like that, Fo uh, what is it, phosphorus. Uh, you just got to get the right things uh, in your fertilizer. That's the main point, and Bonsai Empire's post will help you a ton. I mean, there's really, you might want to search a little bit, a little bit more, but that's going to be your go-to post. I would have that booked mark, bookmarked if you're ever uh, curious. Uh, man, I forgot what I need to do. Okay, let me go look at this for reference. Now, how do you shape a bonsai? So you really get into the art. There's two tools primarily, uh, shears and wire. So with wire, you can just tie it around a tree and make it go a direction. That's how you use wire. But you got to be careful with wire because you can damage your tree. Uh, so, but you need to look at guides and things like that to make sure that you're not damaging your tree. How long you need to leave it, things like that, because it, you can you can permanently damage your tree if you're not careful. So it's a it's a balance of you want to direct your tree, but you don't want to damage it. Now you can also use shears to trim off true you know of uh, limbs off the bonsai uh, leaves there's actually ways that you can trim with shears and encourage growth which I wouldn't have thought that before I started into bonsai but that is the case so really that's all for this video I'll have more videos to come tons of more videos to come I hope that this helps in some form again if you're interested about pruning or sculpting uh, make sure you check out the book above. Uh, it's a fantastic resource. So, this won't be my last video. I'll be making more. And I'll see you in the next one.